Today we're going to be diving into arguably the biggest debate in the performance world. Since they were first introduced, there has always been discussions at your local car meets on if they really work, do you get more horsepower, is there more throttle response, do you get more miles per gallon? The list goes on and on. What's up guys, I'm Nick with Custom Offsets. Before we dive into this storm of a question, if you guys are interested in upgrading your truck's performance, make sure to check out our website at customoffsets dot com forward slash performance. If you haven't already figured out, today's hot topic is going to be all about cold air intakes. First, let's take a look at what makes up a true cold air intake. More often than not, the basics of a cold air intake should come with heat soak resistant tubing that comes off your throttle body, some silicone connection tubes that lead to a cone filter and then some type of heat shielding that keeps your engine heat uh, away from the filter. In some cases, there's even uh, an additional tube leading to the outside of the vehicle known as a snorkel. These are more popular with off-road vehicles or the pavement princesses that go through the puddles at the mall. The easiest way to understand just how cold air intake works is to look at your engine as one big massive air pump. Air and fuel goes in, and hot gases come out. The purpose of a cold air intake is to draw cooler outside air into your engine. The cooler air is denser with oxygen, which means there's more fuel for combustion, cleaner burns, creating more horsepower, and if you keep your foot out of the accelerator, uh, better gas mileage. If this is true, why doesn't the factory just install these on every vehicle? Well, nearly all factory intakes are designed with cost and sound baffling in mind. This sound baffling is actually the primary reason that aftermarket air intakes manage to improve performance to some degree. When you install an aftermarket air intake, you're trading an increase in engine noise for an increase in airflow and power. You can have free flowing, unrestricted airflow or you can have quiet airflow, but you just can't have both. In the enthusiast mindset, this is a good trade-off for us. More engine noise for more power. As much as we all agree with that, manufacturers don't always cater to the enthusiast. They focus on selling to the general public, which as we know is actually quite lame. So to answer everyone's question, yes, cold air intakes work and the dyno numbers prove it. Now, why are people saying otherwise? Well, cold air intakes are only as good as their engineering. If you're cheap, buy cheap, you're gonna get, well, cheap. Cold air intakes that are not specifically designed for your application will probably give you no increase in power and in some cases, you can actually get worse airflow out of a poorly engineered cold air intake than you did from the factory. Good news though, companies like AFE, KNN, and SMB spend literally millions of dollars on engineering, designing research on product development to give you dyno proven numbers, emissions compliant, and intake that is not only looks good, but performs well. With the added engine noise and in some applications, turbo noise increase, it's hard to keep your foot out of the skinny pedal, which will create worse miles per gallon. But oddly enough, if you don't drive like Travis Rosana or Vin Diesel, you should see minor MPG improvements. If you're anything like us, you can head to our website, customoffsets.com forward slash performance and literally buy any intake we offer. Install it, let us know what you think. And finally, if you're the kind of guy or gal that prefers stock, it might be time to look at buying a Prius. All right, guys, that's all I have left for you today. Please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you've got an intake, let us know how you like it, what you think. Let us know down in the comments below.